At the start of the season, the Sixers' rotation of guards had some hype surrounding them, with the absence of James Harden providing playing time for Shake Milton. He has improved significantly. Now that James Harden is back, what is his fate? Find out how the Sixers' offense is further strengthened with James. Watch this video to the end for complete details. First up, James Harden's effect on Shake Milton. Shake Milton, a young veteran drafted by the Sixers in the past, has absorbed everything he's seen from the 10-time All-Star James Harden, as he's played for them from the second half of last season until the first stretch of games this year. When asked about Harden, Milton responded honestly that he learned from watching him. He said it was like a sponge, trying to soak up any information whenever there was an opportunity to watch a great basketball player play. Milton's stat line against the Orlando Magic matched that of the star guard. Milton scored 24 points, but he also provided 10 assists, demonstrating his tremendous importance as a playmaker. Although Harden used to be the NBA's leading scorer, he has since focused more on his team play. Milton, who has closely observed Observed Harden finds that aspect of his game to be admirable. Milton remarked that as much of a threat as he is to score the ball, he's always making plays for the team. He added that one could learn much from watching his game, especially about getting people on the rolls and backside defense. Up next, what does James Harden's return mean for Shake Milton? Daryl Morey, the team's president of basketball operations, was generally praised for adding depth to the guard group as a result of Harden signing a new contract, the acquisition of star two-way guard DeAnthony Melton, and of course, ex expectations for a breakout season from Tyrese Maxey. Shake Milton, a shooting guard in his sixth year, wasn't drawing much notice though. Despite the lack of guard depth in the previous season, Milton only appeared in 55 games and averaged 21.4 minutes per game, both lower than the 2020-21 campaign. To achieve that, he averaged just 8.2 points per game while shooting 45% on the floor, both of which were the lowest marks since his rookie season. And even though he still made 70 fewer tries than in 2020-2021, to he still hit 32% from beyond the arc. Melton's addition as a more consistent scorer and defender held great potential for enhancing the team's bench depth, given this fragile consistency. But the 26-year-old has once again got the chance to show himself as the Sixers' guard depth has once again been diminished by injuries this season. In 14 games in November, he averaged 14.2 points, 4.2 rebounds, and 4.2 assists while shooting 54% from the field and 21% from three-point range. Even if his influence has not been the 39 point, six man of the year contender of old. It's been consistently good throughout the season. Shake Milton has averaged 10 and a half points, 2.3 rebounds, and 3.3 assists in the four games since Harden returned. He scored 11 points in two of those games, and most recently, 14 points against the Sacramento Kings. In Sunday's home victory over the Charlotte Hornets, he played a crucial role in helping the Sixers take their first lead by finishing the first quarter with five points, a rebound, and an assist. With 16 personal fouls in the last four games. Shake Milton has found himself in foul trouble, even though it might not seem like a significant deal on its own. It becomes even more crucial when you consider how rapidly a Sixers advantage can be shrunk when transition defense fails when Embiid isn't playing. The bench cannot afford to concede free points from the line in those circumstances. Shake Milton has earned the right to keep his minutes as the first player off the bench upon Harden's return. However, he might move up to replace Tyrese Maxey whenever he returns. Additionally, since this is his final season before entering the free agent market. Maximizing the benefits of his rapid style of play for the duration of the current campaign is essential. He wouldn't likely be traded unless he was either a portion of a more significant transaction to make the money work, or a team outside of the playoffs determined at the deadline that he was the missing piece. However, it might still be premature to write off Shake Milton in the interim. Up next, the return of James Harden strengthens the Sixers' offense. James Harden made a step-back three-pointer to end the second frame before leaving the court and returning to the locker room. Harden's dependable buzzer beater summed up the Philadelphia 76ers evening. They also appear to be a squad anticipating dominating opponents with its offense for the first time this season. It wasn't difficult to identify what went well after the Sixers advanced to 3-0 on their season-long seven-game homestand. They pounded the Sacramento Kings for 80 points in the first half, which, according to Stathead, was the seventh time as a team since 1990. According to Sixers coach Doc Rivers, James Harden had 15 assists compared to Tobias Harris's nine, indicating that they were moving the ball and playing together, and spacing was appropriate. He said that it was excellent to see. The Sixers moved to 15-12 and 12 on the year after defeating Sacramento 123-103. to 103. But more significantly, they have a chance to revive an offense that has fallen short of preseason projections. According to Cleaning the Glass, the Sixers had a 16th-ranked offensive efficiency going into the game. If they want to be serious contenders, that number needs to be higher. Perhaps a turning point has finally been reached now that Harden and Joel Embiid are back 
in the starting lineup, and the team has a fantastic offensive rating of 118.2 with those two on the floor. Three of the Sixers' top 11 offensive efforts from the season have come in the first three games of the homestand, with Tuesday's first half effort being the most complete. Embiid remarked they were doing pretty well offensively, and that James did a fantastic job providing everyone else with open shots. The person most responsible for ensuring the offense is flowing smoothly is Harden, who finished with an efficient 21 points, 7 of 13 field goals, 4 of 7 free throws, and 15 assists. It's okay to evaluate him most nights based on the team's offensive effectiveness, rather than his stats. And now, despite exhibiting rust in previous weeks following a month-long absence due to injury, he seems to be back in shape. Embiid mentioned that the simple shots came from all around the court and in various ways. It helps to start on the offensive. The Sixers, not a team with frequent transitions, require more simple buckets. Harden recently acknowledged that he wasn't fast at all. That being said, he can quicken the pace with hit-ahead throws. On Tuesday, Shake Milton was the main target of those passes as he attacked a Sacramento defense that never seemed to settle in. The Kings paid for their misdeeds because they lacked the necessary defensive structure and vigor. Harden hit Milton three times with hit-ahead passes. What would be the greatest way to use Milton now that Harden is back in the lineup? The fourth-year guard has shown himself to be much more skilled with the ball in his hands, and he did superbly during the time that Tyrese Maxey, Embiid, and Harden were all out of the starting lineup. But when the Sixers players are all dressed up, he's not nearly as productive in a pure 3 and D role. Maxey is still out, but at least Harden is keeping Milton involved. Milton has averaged double figures and a 49% field goal percentage in the last four games since Harden's comeback. The straight line drives during slow transition illustrate how the Sixers have managed to keep a player who has agreed to play a limited role. They require more of that. In the past, Rivers said Milton would get it and wait for James or wait for Joel, but now they're giving it to him and telling him to assault. He added that they hurled it his way three or four times and wanted Shake to stay in the open court because he's a beast there. Harden even got some time to practice his post-work skills. In recent games, we've seen more of that from him, and Rivers suggested that the intention should be to have more snug pick and rolls with him and Embiid. Harden was spraying inside-out passes to shooters on Tuesday using the post-up. Two of those shots came from George Niang. Harden wasn't the only one who excelled against Sacramento. Embiid scored a game-high 31 points without much effort, forcing Sacramento's two big men, Damanis Sabonis and Nemeas Keta, to commit fouls on his way to a 16-point first quarter. Since Harden returned to the starting lineup, Embiid has averaged 40 points on 64% shooting, upping his effectiveness. Harris has worn many hats this season and has done well with each one. He added 21 points, 9 assists, and 7 rebounds. He's a scorer for the squad when they are short-handed. Additionally, he plays more of an off-ball spacer role when the team has its stars. On Tuesday, Harris even briefly defended the lightning-quick De'Aaron Fox without the assistance of De'Anthony Melton. Harris is shooting 41% from beyond the arc on a higher volume and attacking closeouts when the ball is moving. The Sixers have received several excellent individuals individual contributions this season, whether it be from Milton, Embiid, or Harris. But the whole has not yet been equal to the sum of its parts because of harm and inconsistent execution. It's Harden's responsibility as the point guard to make things make sense. And while a few solid showings against below-average opponents do not necessarily make an exceptional attack, they may help the Sixers develop the necessary habits. According to Harden, the crucial factor is trying to understand what they're trying to achieve possession by possession, offensively. He said the offense wasn't going to succeed if they were on different pages and had their own personal agendas. And it would be the same for any team. Shake Milton has a chance to further prove himself. And considering he's playing with Harden in his last season, he could still learn a lot. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.